My name is David Creedon and I'm a photographer from Cork. The style of work I do has been described as conceptual documentary. This is where I would take a storyline and over a period of time would work on it and at the end produce a body of work that may be suitable for exhibition. The photograph, The Green Kitchen, is from a series titled Ghosts of the Faithful Departed. This is a documentary piece which looks at isolation and loneliness in rural Ireland, set against a background of mass emigration from the early 1950s to the late 1980s. Between 1949 and 1989, over 800,000 people left Ireland. By 1956, the population had fallen to 2.8 million people, the lowest that was ever recorded, and left one author to question, are we becoming a vanishing race? The photographs from this series capture the frequently overlooked and largely unspoken experiences of those who stayed in rural areas all over Ireland when other members of the families left for cities in Ireland, England, the US and elsewhere. They also capture the prevalence of the iconography of Catholicism in everyday home life. The Green Kitchen is from a house in West Cork I had found by accident. The house was totally surrounded by trees and not visible from the road. I only caught a glimpse of a chimney when I had stopped for roadworks and decided to have a look. The house was in a time warp. The calendar on the wall had a picture of Pope Paul VI which read 1977. It was very dark and there was not much light in there because of the trees. The walls were painted in various bright colours, pinks, blues, yellows and when I went into the kitchen there was this vibrant green peeling painted wall. In the centre was a solid fuel stove and scattered around the floor were kettles, a blue tin of Jacob's Irish party biscuits decorated in shamrocks which now contained letters and bills inside and on top of the tin sat a snow globe. On the right hand side of the stove was a picture of Our Lady of Perpetual Succor. You could see the house had connections with America. Lying around was a book of the American Constitution and upstairs hanging was an American flag with 48 stars. This dates the flag to pre-1948. The dreams and aspirations of many exiles would be one day to return to their homeland. Very few were so lucky. In one of the bedrooms was a shipping trunk. In this instance, the trunk tells a tale of emigration and return. Mary Sullivan travelled to New York on the White Star Liner RMS Cedric which sailed from Liverpool on the 11th of October 1930. She boarded the liner at Queenstown, now Cove in County Cork, sailing third class. 19 years later she was to return. The labels on the trunk state cabin class hold and Mary Sullivan USS America, 16th of August 1949, Pier 61, New York to Cove. The USS America had three classes of passenger, first, cabin and tourist class. On the menu for cabin class, Mary would have been able to choose between wild Irish smoked salmon and caviar. Had Mary done well in the land of opportunity? But why had Mary returned? The trunk still contained ladies' stockings in their original box. The words Nylands by DuPont were embossed at the top. There was a handbag with the purchase label still intact. Did the items of fashion in places like Queens and Brooklyn have no place in rural Ireland of the 1950s? Or did Mary ever get the chance to wear them? There is a part in a Derek Mahan poem on a closed up garage and house in Cork. The cracked panes reveal a dark interior, echoing with the cries of children. Here in this quiet corner of County Cork, a family ate, slept and watched the rain dance clean and cobalt, the exhausted grit, so that the mind shrank from the glare of it. Where do they go? South Boston? Cricklewood? Somebody, somewhere? thinks of this as home.